everybody, it's Delta Shiny Zeta, and welcome to The Night Witch, another Metroidvania that actually released, uh, I think, earlier this year for, like, PC and also digitally on consoles, but the physical version of the game came out about last month. I think it was, I think I want to say early May. So the game has been around for about half a year or so, and it's a Metroidvania title. It's a 2D game, but it has those, like, it has, like, shooter elements, um like shoot 'em up style as well as metroidvania elements so it is a metroidvania but it's a bit of a difficult one because of the controls and the way that the the way that the game works let's just say that um i'm gonna go to settings real quick and see okay that's all fine i think that's fine too i do not want screen shake i'm gonna definitely remove the screen shake it'll just make it even harder honestly and i think all of this might be fine Dash, that, the three buttons. I think that's okay. Hopefully this works because... So I was playing this on the Switch earlier, like the actual Switch, like not docked, but portable. And it's actually really hard, like really hard to uh, control the, the control sticks to aim properly. And more information about that as we get to the game, but just know it's, uh, it's a bit of a challenge for sure. I'll do my best with this, but it can be a... <laughs> It can be a frustrating experience for a lot of people who are familiar with this game because of a lot of really weird things. Overall, the game is fun, but um, again, just comments on Reddit or threads and you'll actually see. Uh, I'm more so speaking about, you know, from their perspective. I'm going to try to, you know, not actually cover all that throughout the playthrough because it's not like a, you know, talking crap about the game playthrough, you know? But... Here we go. Let's actually enjoy the game, you know? I just wanted to mention that before, because I'm sure I'm going to get some comments saying like, Oh yeah, I, you know, I've had this experience too, but let's just avoid that. All life could have ended 14 years ago. It almost did. For the first time in history, the whole world was unified under a single banner. The House of Daigadai. The Daigadai believe in technology, science, and progress. For a while, the future was bright. Then, resources started to run low. In order to sustain our way of life, the Daigadai family did unspeakable things to the planet and its ecosystems. A rebel group, the Children of Gaia, appeared in response, their divine goal to save the planet at all costs. As the planet grew weaker, more and more people started to support them, but nothing mattered. All their efforts were in vain. Without trained soldiers or real weaponry, there were no match against the Golem army of Daigadai. That is, of course, until the Night Witches awoke. They were real forces of nature, heroes with the ability to fly, with strength of legend and magical powers that defied our wildest dreams. They drew power from the people's trust. The more we believed in them, the stronger they'd become. Thanks to them, we could all be part of the flight. We simply had to believe in them with all our hearts and souls. They soon became the face of rebellion, a beacon of hope. The Daigadai trembled in fear against them. Everybody knew their names. Faru, the Conjurer. Sakura, the Weapon Master. Irene, the Trickster. And the strongest of them all, their Captain. Robin, the Angel of Destruction. This is the story of how the Night Witches ended the war. This is the story of the Battle of the Broken Sky. The sky is shattered. The planet is dying. Have we lost? After everything we've done? No. No way. We won't surrender. We'll finish the fight. There must be something we can do to save everyone. The Emperor must fall. Okay, so here we get taken to the game. So, we actually start out really strong. This is the whole intro part of the game. We're not at the map yet and the whole Metroidvania aspect yet. Um, so basically what you do, you can aim with the right stick, you move with the left stick. Um, if you hold R, you can actually shoot. And we'll just tell you right now, the aiming can get a little difficult at times, and I'll talk more about that as we go, but it, it, it is much easier to play the game on a Switch Pro Controller as opposed to the portable Switch, because your hands will not be able to grasp everything. Trust me on that. My vines will protect the civilians. Push forward, Robin. Okay. So yeah, you can aim, or you can also not aim, because, okay, here's the thing. If you hold R and shoot, look at the size of the pellets, like the bullets. Now, if you aim and shoot, 
Do you see how they're slightly larger? Small, large, small, large. So if you're aiming, your bullets are actually stronger, but the downside is that it's a little harder to hit enemies because you're aiming. If you're not aiming, like right here what I'm going to do, it's doing automatically. Um, it actually, you don't have to aim, but your bullets are weaker. So you have to kind of, you know, pick and choose what you want to do. Um, because, oh wow, here they come. There, there's, you know, there's obviously a downside to, to a, like either strategy, no matter what you do. There's also a dash button, the L. Uh, this will actually allow you to dodge projectiles. Watch this. See? You can dash right through it. So, yeah, that's also good to know. Okay. You definitely want to use the dash as much as possible. Oh god. Here we go. Yeah, I'll just go back. I could have dashed, but it's fine. They keep building walls. We'll keep bringing them down. Rune. Edge. Strike. Go ahead, Robin. Irene is already inside. This is it. This is our chance. You've done well, Sykra. Stay here and protect the perimeter. Let no golems pass. Yes, Captain. Alright, we're going inside now. Now it's telling you that you can press the buttons Y, X, or A to cast spells. Um, I'll do it up here where there's more enemies. Maybe some more over here. Okay, here we go. If you press one of those buttons... Oh, I actually switched to hand cannon. So basically, different spells will give you different effects. Um, you just kind of have to... And, and this is one of the things that people um, complain about. The whole card system of this game is kind of luck-based because it's very RNG-dependent. And you'll see what I mean in just a little bit. That's the sturdiest door I've ever seen. The Emperor must be close. We can hold it open for you. This is our chance. Thanks, Irene. I got this. Robin, before you go, can I say something? The sky is falling apart. I don't know how we're going to fix this. It feels like the end, but I'm not afraid. If anyone can pull off a miracle and turn this around, it has to be you. I... I know. I can do this. I can do this. Okay, we got some more enemies here. Luckily, you, know, you want to use those barriers efficiently, of course. Alright, destroy that. But yeah, so like, you see how there's three different cards? If you press one... That's cool, right? I use one, and now another one spawn. It's it's random. It's completely random on which next card will come up. And it definitely adds a lot of luck into this game. Like, as a big factor. Okay, now let's go this way. I think... Wait, when did I get it? Did I get it? Oh my god, I even realize what the hell did I get hit I only have four health points that's actually not good Robin this is all your fault my fault you must be crazier than I thought your reckless way of life has choked the life out of the planet it shattered the sky into pieces what would you plan to do with all your fortunes you knew this was going to happen you really don't see your role in all this you night witches are nothing but weapons manufactured with social engineering formidable weapons no doubt about it better than any army money could buy. But we had to focus all our resources into military development because of you. We didn't even have flying golems when this started. Imagine what we could have achieved instead if space exploration was almost in our grasp. We could have left this planet before it was uninhabitable, expanding our civilization to other worlds. Other worlds? So you could treat them as you treated this one? No, Erebus. Don't blame this all on us. If the planet is dying, you fix it. You don't just run away. You're delusional. If we close every factory like you wanted, a society would have crumbled. On a dead planet, there can be no society. You'll pay for what you've done. You're nothing but a flying celebrity. I'll teach you some manners. Alright, here we go. This is the first boss of the game, and it's actually kind of a bit of a challenge. Um, you want to not get hit by all these little minions. Okay, then what you want to do is just simply aim toward the boss. And then just start spamming all your damn stuff. Oh god. Oh god. Yeah, like, if you don't really know what you're doing, I could actually see it being a bit of a, of a difficult factor. Okay. And just keep doing everything. Okay, I put a shield up on that one. Let me just, uh... Okay. There's another one. 
Okay, let's be very careful and dash. Oh shoot, I still got hit. That's okay, that's okay. I think I'm actually in a very- No, I, I dashed the wrong way! Shoot, this is actually really bad. This is actually really freaking bad. Just keep spamming all your abilities, seriously. Get some defense. Okay, I'm trying to get more. There we go. Those are magic. Those are MP. You really need those. Oh my god. Got it. This is ridiculous. You can't be for real. How can you be so strong? This is not my strength. It's everyone's. It flows to me thanks to the night which is Link. Everyone wants you to lose, that's all. I'm fighting in their stead. You're just a bunch of ungrateful dogs biting the hand that feeds you. Everyone wants me to lose? Well then, I'm going to take everybody down. It's exploding. More energy. What is he doing? He's going to blow everything up. At that moment, when Erebus's selfishness turned into madness, we were all connected to Robin through the link. The link goes both ways. We could send Robin our strength, but we could also feel the battle through her. That's when the miracle happened. Everybody believed in Robin. Everybody wanted her to win. There were tears in my eyes as I was connected to everyone else through her. In that moment, she was a real goddess. And she struck with the strength of one. Yet that's how the war ended. Everybody lost. The house of Daigadai tried to preserve their way of life. They were shattered. The children of Gaia fought to save life, but the planet was bleeding through the sky and would soon die. It's in moments like this, when everything seems lost, that fate decides to intervene. In the crater formed by Robin's final attack, we discovered a network of underground tunnels. Survivors from both sides of the conflict dropped their weapons and ventured inside. We left the surface behind, forever. That's how we discover the city of Dungeonitis, forgotten by time, a haven built by ancient giants, the Hexkari. A city built around a massive life support machine, a true blessing, a home. Thanks to Dungeonitis and the machine, we have energy, oxygen, food, shelter, and a chance at peace. Fourteen years of peace, that's how we thank the Night Witches, every day. Thank you, Night Witches. Thank you, Robin, with your infinite might. And that is basically the introduction to the Night Witch. It's actually kind of an interesting story, I will say. Now we are, you know, going to be going 14 years later. So all that was a prequel. It's what happened 14 years ago. And now we've been, you know, at peace with oxygen and food and nutrition and just a society, a lifestyle. And we seem good. So now the actual game is going to start after this really long loading screen. Oh, my health appeared in the top left corner. We must be close. Oh no, never mind. I disappeared. That's actually really weird. It's kind of a glitch, right? <laughs> That's a little strange. All right. Well, this will be a fun game. Um, I hope to, you know, get through it as best as possible. I know the game not too well, to be honest. I only know some parts of it, but um, that's usually what I do with Metroidvanias. I play them for a little bit off screen just to kind of know the controls and the way it works. This game does get crazy later on. Like, the screen gets cluttered with bullets everywhere, and it's crazy to be dodging everything, but we'll do our best. So, remember to get your family together and join us today in the Hanging Castle on this very first Robin's Day. I'm gonna be Robin now. What? Okay. What? No, come on, you were Robin last time. It's my turn. No. I'm a girl, so I'm Robin. You're Erebus. Prepare to die. Oh, Jesus. No way. If I can't be Robin, I'm not playing. God, what a loser. <laughs> okay, I'm kidding. You can't escape from me, Erebus. You broke the sky. Prepare to pay. I don't think those kids were even born when the war ended. And still, they talk about Robin like it all happened yesterday. She really has become a timeless legend. Anyway, gotta go meet Akai. He said he'd be waiting at the pantry. That's right ahead. Go meet with your husband. Okay. 
The Kai Bon Guiding Gust. If we walk together, we'll never be lost. If you're feeling lost, just press minus. A magic gust of wind will show the way. Just remember that sometimes the straightest route won't be available. Find your own path. Press A to resume. Okay. So basically, so here we are in the starting town. You can press the left, you know, and you'll be able to see the map. You also have different tabs. Spell cards. No, no, we don't have any yet. Uh, then we have links here. This will be, this will all make sense a little bit later. Then we have items and then settings, and that's basically it. Yeah, we don't have cards, despite us having cards in the intro part. We are no longer Robin, as you know. If we shoot... Yeah, we also don't have a dash, we don't have cards, so now we're truly like in the beginning of the game. So, I'm gonna head all the way to the left, but yeah, looking at the map again, we're here in the bottom left corner. Um, I guess I can, yeah, you can zoom out, or zoom in, but that's basically all you can do. I'm gonna go left. Alright, so this area here will all talk to you, definitely. This is Akai. Hey, Rain, over here. Are you ready for your surprise? Uh, yeah, sure. What are you up to? I have to say, I'm legit curious. Well, for this whole Robin's Day thing, my group had the task of building a load of decorative lanterns that look like war golems. I know. Not exactly tasteful. But since I was making them, I asked if I could keep some, and they let me take as many as I wanted. Okay, but I really can't see what this, where this is going. So, the thing is, I know how you feel. We've talked about this, and I can see it on your face. You didn't become a night witch, and I know that it weighs on you. It was really unfair. You were all like sisters, and in the end, you couldn't help them. You're always kind of blue on the anniversary of the Battle of the Broken Sky. Now they call it Robin's Day. I just thought you could use a release. Akai, honey, that's really nice of you, but it's okay. I did want to help save the planet, but it turns out I wasn't needed. The night witches are way stronger than me. I know, I know. But try this. Pull that lever over there. Okay, sure, we'll pull it. Whoa, where did that come from? Ha. Do you like it? Your own shooting range. You didn't get to blast any golems in the war, but you were the best in training. Do you remember? Oh yeah, I was an ace, but that was a long time ago. You're still an ace. Blow them up. Okay, so use the right stick, yes, now it's giving you the, tu the, tu the true tutorial. Simply, you know, just aim like that, and then you shoot. Whoops. It, yeah, it can be a little tricky to aim sometimes. Okay, that felt good. Wait, there's more. Pull that other lever. Seriously? How much work did you put into this? Into building a secret hideout for you to blow stuff up far away from the world while the people have a party in honor of that jerk? All the time I put in was totally worth it. Come on, Robin's not a jerk. She was under a lot of pressure. Forget about her. Pull that other lever. Come on. Okay, second lever. Okay, now show me that thing you used to do. Love it. Aim with your instinct without looking at the targets. It's been a while. I don't know if I can still do it. Just try. Hold R without aiming to shoot with your instinct alone. Bullets will do a little bit less damage, but you'll never miss your mark. Yeah, I, I was explaining this earlier. Just hold the R button. And it destroys them all. But, as you saw, it takes two hits instead of one. That was easy. Okay, I'm starting to think you were right. This is fun. See? I know you better than anyone. And there's a third lever, the final challenge. Really? Akai, you're the best. You did all this to cheer me up? I love you so much. Go try the last lever. You can try this one as many times as you want. To see if you can beat my record of eight targets. I'll leave you having fun. But I have to, I have to take these mushrooms to the market. They're waiting for me. Take as much time as you want. You don't need to be anywhere else. I'll be at the home making dinner when you come back. Thanks. I'm going to wreck your record with my eyes closed. Okay. One last thing. Are you going to go to the castle to see the ceremony? No, I'm busy with the mushrooms. You can go if you want. It's going to be a huge party. I don't want to. Honestly, I don't feel like... I don't really like the night witches that much. To me, it feels like they've turned their backs on you. <laughs> to blow stuff up again. Go next. See ya. Okay, let's try this next lever. This actually can be f pretty freaking hard, but basically a bunch of stuff are going to spawn here. Okay, final challenge. Time to see what he has in store. Let's dance. So you just have to kind of like try and beat... Hurry up, please aim. 
That's it. I beat Akai's record. Oh, okay. So you just uh, did I really destroy that many? Well, okay. I I guess I did that. I beat the record. But I don't know if you have to come back here later and get them all. Right now we don't have the capability to be able to destroy all of them there. I repeat, we are under attack from an unknown enemy. Please retreat to the castle. The castle is safe. I repeat, the castle is safe. Robin is here with us. What? I couldn't hear anything up there. What is going on? Yeah, what the hell? What's going on? What's that? Are they real war golems? Those things are deadly. This makes no sense. They were all destroyed years ago. Oh, that is kind of strange. Okay, let's see. Alright, so we got some enemies here. Alright, so when you defeat enemies, they're gonna drop these little green gems. That's like money. You wanna make sure you grab that. You're gonna need it, trust me. This game is freaking hard, so you need to get as many upgrades as possible. Okay, basically, I think I got rid of all of them. Hopefully. Oh, here's some more. Yeah. So, the best strategy that I can tell all of you, like, especially early game, is you really want to kind of, like, shimmy back and forth. Don't go in a straight line, like, ever when there's enemies. You want to keep going, like, zigzaggy, up and down, and so on. The door is chained. Is this for real? I have to get to the other side. Even if I have to break some stuff to get there. Okay, so yeah, we can't go there, but we can go up here. Let's break this. Oh, actually, wait, I totally forgot to tell you all something. I should go back. Um, the save points of this game are the beacons, and there's actually a save point that we didn't get over here. This thing. So, if you approach him, you can put take a breath and think. And then range just usually says something. Yeah. But that's that's a save point. Um, it gives you a full heal. Oh, shoot. My bad on that. Okay, let's do it again. Here, I'll actually prove it to you to get a full heal. I forgot these damn enemies respawn when you do that. Cool. But yeah, see, they respawn. Oh, damn. I guess I'll kill them again. I mean, why not? Oof, that was close. Yeah. Give me everything. I could use the money. There's one more over here. Yeah, but you see, I kind of went like zigzaggy all around. That's kind of what you want to do to um, avoid taking as much damage as possible. Alright, so we're going to go through this secret tunnel because the door on the right side is closed. And this here takes us to another save point. Usually want to attack him to free them up like that. Okay. And he says the same thing. Okay. Well, let's make our way through. Okay, here we got some more enemies. Luckily right now they're pretty easy ones. There's not a whole lot going on. We're gonna go up here. This is like a the first optional route of the game. Oof, I actually almost let that thing hit me. Alright, so I destroyed that. I think I can break something over here. Yes, I can. There's another coin. I have five of those. I'm not going to talk about those right now in terms of what they are. And usually a bunch of crates and stuff will actually give you, like, items to, you know, pick up and stuff. Let me free you. I don't believe it. You saved me. You, I mean, you? I thought Robin would come save me. That would have been so cool. She must be busy fighting a massive monster, doing something really epic. I guess she doesn't have time to go looking for cages. So, thanks for helping her with that. Bye. Yeah, so you see how I just got some experience right there from level 0 to the higher level? Yeah. Essentially, that's how you level up in this game, by either freeing people or doing certain quests or certain progressions. Some are story-based, some are side quests, but that's pretty much how it works. Okay, I think I have to keep going to the right here. There are more enemies, okay, as expected, of course. Yeah, so you always keep moving. Always keep moving. Uh, do these actually give me anything here? I don't think they do, but... No, you can break them, but it's pretty pointless, honestly. 
Okay, here's a door. I can shoot that to go through. Oh no, what do we do now? Hey, you, help us, please. Oh, aren't you supposed to be guards? Oh god. Okay, we got some big ones coming. Keep moving. Yeah, especially right now because you don't have the dash, so you can't dash through projectiles. You have to dodge them. That's why you gotta keep moving. Robin, please save us. Please. We give our thanks to you. We give thanks every day. It's okay, Gaki. It's over. That woman saved us. Really? Thanks. Thanks, miss. Thanks a lot. They were going to put us in one of those cages. They've been doing it to everyone. Yes, thank you. Sincerely. You, you're flying like a night witch. How is that possible? It's a long story. Hey, you said you saw them putting people in cages? Did you see my husband, Akai? He's an infernal. No, miss. I'm sorry. Oh, Akai, where are you, you dummy? Do you know anything about the attack? Where do they come from? What do they want? I'm afraid we're clueless and defenseless. No one even carries any weapons since the last war. It'll be okay. The Night Witches will take care of things. You should evacuate to the castle with us. I've got some things to do first. You showed your link with me, so I should be able to teleport you there. That would be super cool. Can you do that? Yeah. Back to civilians is a key part of Night Witch training. See you there. The situation is dire. We can't count the town guard. I can't do much either. I can fend off a few golems, but they'll squash me like a bug if I'm not careful. I have to go home and retrieve my spell cards. I'm going to need them if I'm supposed to help anyone. Oh, but Kai's there too. Okay, so basically... So here was energy shards. I'm going to read these. The golems are stuffed with these crystals. It looks like a magic power source, but I've never seen anything like it before. These are yuppie coins. It says yuppie yuppie on the edge. It looks like a toy, and it's apparently completely worthless. Hmm, <laughs> interesting. Okay, so you can see the level there. So it's not a care in the world, friendly neighbor. Okay, whatever. Uh, and no spell card still. Um, I think I'm gonna try going up. Although I don't know what I can actually realis realistically do up here. Oh, I, I can't get through this door because this requires, see how it's like, you have to be close to it to be able to open it, but you can't, so. Let's leave. We're gonna go down. All right. Okay, these things you gotta be careful. When you attack them, they will explode literally everywhere. Oh, I just got a, a freaking health potion, but I didn't even need it. All right. That thing's down. Who's next? Are you up, up here? Okay, find the gaps, right? Oh, another, there's more health over there. Oh god. Yeah, I don't want that. <laughs> there's no point in grabbing that. I don't think I destroyed it. No, I didn't. Now I did. Okay. Another save point here, we can take this one. So, I can go left or right, I'm gonna go left. I believe I need to actually go left first. Here's a building. Akai? Akai! Oh no, where is he? If he is not here, he must be at the market. What is going on? Could they just be some stray golems or something? No one would try to destroy the last bastion of civilization on purpose, right? Akai's an excellent warrior and he's smart. The market is closer to the castle, so it should be safer. But I should still get there as soon as possible. I can't leave without my spell cards, though. I think I left them upstairs. Yes! My old spell cards. I hope they still work. Now I just need to find an arcane beacon to activate them. Okay, so I need to go back to the beacon the right side. There it is. Okay, so now when you uh, examine a beacon, you'll have a new option. Edit spell card deck. Preparing a magic deck of spell cards is easier than it seems. The number on top of each card is the mana cost required to use it. 
It's important, but you shouldn't worry about it too much right now. Don't worry about running out of cards. They may move from the bank ab above to the deck below, but they never disappear. Now complete the deck using your choice of cards. Okay, so basically what well, you can do that one. So you can pick up to, you can do six essentially. Um, Cause if you, what, what is it, if you go, oh yeah, see you can't, you can't exit the menu. You gotta fill it up. Let's do that. Remember, cards are not consumed when you use them, so go wild and use them as much as possible. Got it. Alright. The cards are ready. Never use them in real combat, though. But I still remember pretty much everything from training, I think. Okay, Rain, focus. First things first, as a Night Witch, I draw mana from the flow of the battle. That's, that's the theory, of course. For practice, I'll use those scare worms. Attack enemies to gain mana. Cure mana is displayed at the bottom right. Okay. So you can attack them. You eventually gain the mana, but I'm going to press a button. I'm going to press Y right here. Cool, I still got it. But I'm starting to remember, yeah. We learned how to manifest a mental training palace. It was great for trying different card combinations. I might still be able to do it if I give it a try. Hmm. Every night which can manifest their own training palace, a spiritual safe space that has spells without limitation. Rest at an arcane beacon to visit it. But yeah, so if you attack normal enemies, eventually they drop those blue orbs that we saw from that first boss battle when we were Robin. And that's how you regain your mana. And you use it, you use it up by using your spell cards. I'm gonna go back left though. This is actually looping around and you'll see. You'll see shortly. Yeah, um, as you can see, we're back over here. We're connecting the pathway entirely. Okay, so this door right here, this is a one way. Every time you see that, now when you open it, I'm now back over here. I'm at this door that was locked. I only went up above in the starting room. That's where that leads to. So we just reconnected that pathway. Let's go back though, we don't need to do anything else over there. Watch out for those things, if you're above them they will hit you. Bark, that's a dog, that's an NPC, that'll be useful, uh, important for something later on actually. Uh, you'll see later. Another burning house, oh great. Well, there's not much else we can do here. We have reconnected the pathway, but that's... Basically all we can do right now. Let's turn over here this way now. We're going back here again. Another one-way door, but this is from the correct side, so that's fine. Warning, ambushing can okay the ambush is another thing that really pisses people off in this game because um, you get rewards if you do it without taking any damage or if you do it in a certain amount of time. Um, so I'm gonna do my best here, but some of these no I already oh my god, I was actually so close to already getting hit. It's crazy, so you already got hit. This is ridiculous. Um, to be able to do this like really early on in the game is just crazy when you think about it. Let me just draw all of that. I should be using my, uh, kill it. There, I got rid of that, okay. There's a health thing up there. Oh, I actually can't go from this way. Trying to... There we go. Those things are kind of annoying. The little ones are not a problem. They're actually very simple to deal with. Okay, I got that one too. That almost hurt me. Jeez, man. That is crazy. Okay, I did some damage to you. That's fine. Got that one too. See, because they home in on you so well. So, like... Got that one. Now we got some other enemies coming over here. Oh my god. Well, luckily I killed that thing so I can escape back this way. So you can very easily get stuck and cornered into different areas, so that's what 
that tends to be a big major issue that will kind of happen to you a lot naturally throughout this game. There we go. I hit that so I can kill that guy immediately. Whoa! Wait, that hurt me? Oh, my aim's a little off right now, hold on. Got him again there. That's it. But I didn't do either of them. That's okay because you can you can replay the ambushes later after you do a certain side quest when you're more like well equipped to be able to do things faster and avoid taking damage, like having to dash and stuff like that. So it's better to wait anyway. It's all good. Alright, so I did that. I guess we can just Yeah, we're done here. There's nothing else to do. We can't go down to the bottom yet. So we have to just go right through. Oh great. It says Y, X, or whatever to cast spells. It's done. I mean, they put some enemies in pretty, pretty dickish placements, to be honest. Let's go up. Did I kill anything? I have no idea. Okay, let's wait until you stop shooting. And there we go. Oh, here's something. Got some money from that, okay. I think that's it here. More coins and more money. Wait, so this thing, oh shoot. It just, these things basically refill your um, mana like right away. You can see, but if you step up, okay. Well, that thing eventually, yeah, you can explode it yourself. I'm already down to one hit point. I mean, I told you all, this game is freaking hard. And this is really early game. Oh god. Well, here's this at least. I'll gladly take that. Whoa! These things just pull you in, huh? Okay. I don't think I can do anything to them, though. Nope. They didn't work. Wait, how do you actually... I'm trying to remember this. Wait, so when you... Okay. The good thing about this, this game, and I like when Metroidvanias do this, when you die, it doesn't actually restart everything. Um, it does save your progress that you did, like, certain rooms and stuff like that. So that's at least very nice. So we have to just go up. We can leave everything else, that's fine. That's okay. Yeah, like everything, yeah, even up there is done, okay. Get it, okay. Let's wait for this thing to go again. Yeah, because these things like suck you in, unless you're supposed to go from up above. I guess that works. Go, go, go. Jeez, that is very tight. Alright, we destroyed you, that's fine. Here we got some locks, what does this do? Actively trying to remember this, you know? Wait, hold on. What, what do I actually... I don't remember this. Sorry, I played this in practice a while ago and I don't even... Oh, you're supposed to hit them, right? Yeah, you do. What the hell? Okay, well, that door's open now. Okay, I'm trying to go through the door. Oh, wait. It's a wall. Go, 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 go. You keep going. Okay. where I am here now. I'm pretty far, but I think the only way to keep... Yeah, it's going to be going to the right. 
those things cannot be attacked. We'll go up. We'll shoot that, of course. And there should be one more log. Which would be that one over there. There's also a treasure on that side. Unless I ended up missing... Well, the second lock is that way, but... Uh, there we go. That basically bounces off from that side. We can recast it. Okay. Nice. Okay, there's some health there. Um, we'll actually... We'll open this up. What is this? Just more money? That's fine. On to the next door. Okay, oh Jesus. Spawn me right here in front of enemies. Alright. This pathway has two doors. Um, let me look at the map here real quick. I wish it would stay zoomed out though, because it's so freaking big. Just being there in the middle, but... Anyway, I I think, yeah, I'm going to try to go, there's actually, yeah, there's three doors, so let's go to the right first. What could this be? Body or mind, knight or witch. Um, I would like to do a health upgrade. Yes. This will help us with surviving a little bit more. That's all that's in here. Nice. Uh, let's see. Let's go down. Actually, wait. Let's go in this building. There's something in here. More money. Is there anything else? There we go. There's a notebook page hidden here. It's attached to a lock. I can't pull it off without tearing it. The Turbo Wizards and the Guide Defenders were absolute failures. People didn't take them seriously. The superhero approach is clearly missing something. The only team in training that seems to be doing well is the Night Witches. I knew it, of course. That's how we have market studies. We have to make sure we stick to the Night Witch concept, though. Once we give them Gaius tears, there's no going back. Alright, done here. Let's go, let's go back. So now I can go either up or down. I'm gonna I'm gonna go down just to see what's down here. The hell! All right, I'm just making sure you know you can't just rush through rooms in this game, or else you're gonna get annihilated if there actually is an enemy. Gotta take things a little slow. Okay, that door requires a specific key, which we do not have yet. So this is a dead end. Okay, so the only option we have left is to go up this way. Hey. Hey, you. Over there. What, me? Me? Wait a minute. Aren't you one of those cake-selling skeletons? Yes. Yes. Do you want a muffin? No, thanks. I'm fighting a mysterious horde of golems that appear out of thin air while trying to find my husband who's probably in really serious danger right now. Oh. Oh, of course. That's too bad. No one's buying today, for some reason. The Underbaker expected us to sell a lot of muffins with it being Robin's Day and everything. Well, maybe it's because everyone's either been evacuated to the castle or captured by the enemy. Well, lucky me. Golems only target the living. They pay no attention to the dead, not at all. Good for you, I guess. Now, if you'll excuse me. Wait, wait. Let me help, or help you. I have this oven here. For muffins, but I can make other things as well. I can make you some armor. I'm a baker, not a blacksmith, though, so I don't expect it to last very long. Really? I could use some armor. Do you need anything in return? No, I just need something to burn. Armor requires a hotter flame, you know. The golems have been dropping these shards. Would that work? Wow, you can really sense the energy coming from them. Yeah, that'll work. All right, let's give it a shot. You're a customer, then. Thanks for coming. 
step into the store and remember, I can make muffins as well. Forging armor is an exceptional, temporary thing. I know. Here, let me add a muffin sticker to your map so you can find my shop later. Map, link, deck, and inventory. Up to see the map of, or sorry, left to see map of area, up to see link status, right for spell card, and down for inventory. So those are shortcuts to the pause menu. Wow, we're actually pretty much right at the end of level zero, huh? That's kind of nice. But yeah, so on your map, you'll be able to see the muffin icon now, which is his shop. So if you talk to him again, you, um, oh, actually, I'll have to go inside the store. Okay, whatever. That's fine. There's like anything here. Oh, there we go. So the thing with armor, oop, I didn't mean to go that way. Well, actually, yes, I did. What am I talking about? No, no, no. Get away from me. Shoot, I took a hit. Go, go, go. I'm trying to get some, okay, I got some damage off. No, no, I hate this stupid thing. I got that one too. Okay, I hit him twice. I guess I'll just keep running in circles. No. Okay, I got him, I got him. Grab that stuff, and let's open this. This is preposterous. Who's even sending all these stupid golems? Are they trying to start a war again? I don't know who's behind this, but they need to be reminded of the Night Witch's strength. You get strong with gratitude, right? Well, thanks. Thanks. A thousand thanks. Now take my gratitude and go kick their ass. Press plus to level up. Okay, body or mind, knight or witch. So I can increase my bullet damage if I do this, or my spell damage. I'm gonna do bullet damage right now because I'm relying more on bullet damage right now. Um, you can basically see your upgrades here and what you have in each of these levels, which, you know, it's kind of cool, I guess. All right, but that's how you upgrade your uh, your offense capabilities by you know leveling up like that. Okay, so we're back over here. I don't think I really need to... Well, that's fine. I can step into that shop. I probably should. There's a sign there, but it doesn't really do anything. And there is a save point here. So if you leave, yeah, it still heals and saves you, so you don't actually have to actually read the beacon every time. It's to die for, but it actually restores your health. This is worthless. This cupcake thing is so worthless in this game, I can't even explain to you how awful this is. Because you can't store this. If you buy it, you eat it right away. But the problem with this is that um, there's these save points like everywhere. So like, what the hell? Not too good. It'll break after a single impact. These can be useful for trying to do the the ambushes with taking no damage because if you get hit while you have the armor, it doesn't count towards you getting hit. But for the most part, you don't want to really spend a lot of money on this. It's better to get permanent upgrades with money, which I'll be talking about later. So I'm not gonna buy anything right now, but there is a store, there's the option in case you need it. Okay. Here's a door going that way. Door going up, nothing that way. And then this one, I can break this. What's over here? Ooh, look at this. More coins, but we're blocked. So we are forced to go only one direction, which is this way. To the right. Everything else is closed right now. Yeah, there's no point in even destroying all that stuff in there. That's fine. What is this here? Looks so like you can go in that well, but now you can't. Hmm, a bunch of emptiness everywhere. This looks oddly suspicious. That actually has money, okay. I don't think any of these do though. No, they don't. That's fine. We'll leave that be. We're just moving on to the next place. The shield protecting the fridge is still working. Thank goodness. Without this shield, the Mega Worms would feast in all our food reserves. Oh, interesting. Wait. Oh, you said the same thing. Was this the correct way? I guess so. Oh, I never went this door. Oh, that's the one. Okay. This actually would make more sense then. Okay, it takes three hits from those. Oh, shoot. There's actually like 
coins in there. Give me all of these. Shoot, I missed that one. That's okay. I'm attacking the enemies too, though, so... No worries. Okay, I think the, the only one that I missed was... Over here. Make sure I explode that thing. Okay. Um, there's not going to be much in this room. Oh my god, I was literally right there. Kill it. Can't. Get through. Oh my god. Kill it. Get rid of that thing. Seriously. Okay, we're gonna keep going to the left. Alright, this door here, or this room here, has a couple, probably a couple things. Let's see, we can start by breaking that. I don't think we can deal with that thing. No, we cannot. There's a health box over here. We'll definitely take that one. And that's also a dead end there. Go, go, go. We already have 33 of these coins, by the way. Oof, that is tight. Barely broke that. Why did I... That was my bad. I went too fast. Definitely went too fast. That's okay. There's another health crit right here. We'll take it. Okay, I don't think we've killed that thing yet. Oh, shoot. Go, 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 go. Go through it fast. There's also this up here. Which leads to more of these coins, okay. I'll say we could have broken this to get across from that side, but that's cool. Where the hell do these things come from? Came out of nowhere. Oh god. We just gotta dash through as quickly as possible through those things. Alright, I think we got them like all. Go, go, go. Yep, it is working. Was there something down there? No, that's not breakable. I thought it was for a second. Oof, I almost touched that one. Alright, let's go. Do the save. Uh, maybe I can... Let me just check out the next room real quick. Because we do have a few minutes, I guess. Just a few. Why is it shooting only down? Oof. Oh my god, I hit myself. <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty basic room there. Uh, there is this, though. The door to the right will actually lead to a boss. I don't want to do that yet. Um, yeah, I'd rather come down here. This is a nice little secret room. Oh, is this an ambush? Oh, Jesus. Well, this is, like, not good. Okay, I'm gonna save my, my spell cards. Oh god, that's an obstacle right there. Jesus! Actually, no, don't get the heart. Damn, I didn't mean to get the heart. I really didn't mean to get it, though. I was supposed to save that until when I actually needed it. Oh, here come a bunch. Get them all. All of them. Ooh, I did that one without taking damage, right? Radiant Sun, this oddly shaped stone is always warm to the touch. During the last wars, these stones appeared amongst the battlefield's ashes after a night, which is flawless victory. Cool. Well, that's good to know. Uh, there's this right here also. Very nice. Okay, well, we did that one. That's good, at least. This is a one-way door that will actually open back to uh, something a little earlier, which I'll get into in just a bit. But, um, oh, damn. Oh, you little, that's fine. Simple room right here. And over here, there's a bunch of more coins here. But there's also an item. What could that be? What could it be? Triple cannon. Shoot three bullets at once. Three bullets is always better than one. 
So that's another, uh, what do you call it? The uh, spell card. That's a spell card. All right, now I think we're officially done with this video. I'll actually just show you where that door that we just opened leads to, but it's another one-way door that has now been opened so we can freely go back and forth. But it leads specifically over here, this place that had the three doors. I'm just gonna go down and save. Okay, I figured it out, sorry. I was not thinking, well, I'm back over here in this room. Remember when I thought this just led back over there? That's not actually what it does. This is still closed off. This is where the item was. See, I knew there was an item in here, but I thought it was more so in the middle. This is the one that I was talking about specifically. Triple Seeking Swords creates three light swords that chase nearby enemies through anything. Stuns on impact. Nice, okay, now I'm gonna end the video. I'll, be, I'll meet you over there at the save point before the boss. So before I end this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you enjoyed the video. I will see you all later. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great day.